Hi, I'm Rudy Dillensager. I'm part of the global product management team from Microsoft Dynamics AX. And today I'm going to talk to you about our two-tier ERP strategy where Microsoft Dynamics AX can provide you the right balance between you know, business agility and IT efficiency. Um, it's all about you know, how big enterprise are deploying ERP internally. Um, I'm going to share with you Today, uh, what is our finding in terms of the enterprise space and how ERP have been deployed in order to answer your needs? Uh, then we're going to see how can Microsoft bring you uh, a new vision about uh, deployment of ERP and being able to tell you when is it interesting for you to deploy a two-tier strategy. Then we're going to see uh, what is our value proposition in that space and what makes Microsoft Dynamics AX uh, the best solution to implement in a two-tier environment. So basically what happened is, uh, from the 90s, what we've been seeing in the enterprise space is the quest of looking at a single instance where you could do everything with the same solution. Well, that was a great achievement in the first place. I mean, if you're looking at all the results that you got in financial, for example, and being able to, uh, to do consolidation and report your results within a few days where you needed a few months before, I mean, that was a great achievement in that space. Another great achievement was uh, since all financial were uh, in, in this single instance, you could very easily compare your P&L and compare units uh, to units and being able to, uh, to do a, a lot of BI from a financial perspective. Uh, what has been missed as a goal in that uh, particular space was more on the uh, business side of the story. How could I deploy this single instance of, uh, of my ERP all across my different locations? How can I meet my different business requirement? And how can I keep the cost down in terms of deployment, uh, limiting uh, the number of specifics that I need to do, and also uh, you know, keeping uh, the skills inside of my company and being able to have all the skills all across the board uh, to deploy that application. Uh, so again, um, because of this, what we, we've been seeing in the enterprise space is filling the gaps, meaning uh, implementing different ERP solution at local level. Uh, what we've seen is being able to answer the specific needs uh, of the subsidiary, uh, so great goals that have been achieved here, and uh, you know, using best of read application or a local vertical or uh, you know, specific application for a specific matter, and being able to support you know, line of business. But um, what we didn't bring is basically what your administrative ERP bring, brought you is uh, a view of consolidation and being able to have a solution that you can implement uh, within the entire company and being able to uh, use the same solution in the US, in uh, Germany, France, China, and because of this localization requirement it was not necessarily possible to expand those better those best of read application and um, in any case uh, what we've seen is a lot of data redundancy because everything needed to sit up in the local subsidiary basically or in the branch or in the uh, in a particular brand for example so uh, we've been looking at analysts and uh, and uh, people like Ray Wang, and, uh, and they basically acknowledge the fact that the uh, holy grail of this single instance uh, is basically gone, and people need to find innovative ways of uh, answering the business requirement and also optimizing the IT infrastructure and uh, limiting the cost at the end. Uh, so it's all about this disruptive you know, technology that, uh, that is required in order to get there. Uh, if you're looking at um, Nigel Montgomery from Gartner, uh, is mentioning uh, that it's already happening in some of the uh, enterprise company, and they are looking at this two-tier ERP strategy in order to uh, lower the cost and address uh, the small to mid-sized subsidiaries and uh, being able to have one solution that you can deploy across the board. And that's exactly where we think at Microsoft we are best positioned. Basically, what you do is you keep your administrative ERP. I mean, it's been doing a great job. And you're doing all your financial consolidation. Uh, again, comparing your units is, uh, is happening there. But from uh, an operational standpoint, uh, at local level, at branch level, uh, you need this uh, operational ERP. And we think that uh, a solution like Microsoft Dynamics AX uh, could be a great asset for your company. Um, 
So what is the uh, optimal two-tier strategy? I mean, obviously, you don't want to necessarily do that all the time. Uh, but when it comes that the single instance doesn't meet your requirement locally, uh, what is your alternative? Uh, well, we think that the alternative is to have something which can go across your subsidiary, for example, from different sizes. Uh, you can have a small entity in one location, a bigger one in, in another location. You can run a, an entire activity where you may want to have this application because of these uh, industry capabilities. Uh, which are important to you. I mean, we see a lot of companies uh, actually not only having one activity. I mean, most of them, you know, if you're a manufacturing company, at the end of the day, you may uh, distribute your product in certain geographies. You're not uh, actually having a plant there. Or you may want to do some services and uh, install your you know, machinery, for example. And that's, again, something which is very different. And you, you need to have one application which is able to support all this. And then uh, what you're looking at is, is probably rationalizing uh, your business processes. And, and by doing this and uh, maybe having sort of uh, core deployment, uh, you may also decrease the TCO of, a, of your application. So uh, what we're looking at an optimal uh, two-tier strategy is, is really combining this administrative ERP. So basically you keep what you have for financial. Uh, again, he's been doing a great job in consistency, reporting, unit-to-unit uh, -unit comparability. Uh, the consolidation aspect uh, has been a, a great asset to you, so just keep it. And uh, from an operational standpoint, uh, you know, use a solution like Microsoft Dynamics AX for its agility uh, and also for the insight it's providing from a business perspective on the business process level where you need to understand, you know, how you're doing with your customer, with your uh, you know, vendor, uh, how the production is doing, or distribution, or retail, and, uh, and being able to have different reasons depending on the location you're at. Um, and again, uh, what we're providing with a solution like Microsoft and MixAX, it, it's all this business process standardization. Basically, uh, you create a core model and you deploy this core model across the board, and you can have different core models based on uh, what kind of entity you're, you're serving, basically. Uh, our greatest asset is obviously uh, the familiarity of the tool and uh, how can we uh, increase the adoption. And uh, as an example, I, I want to uh, uh, explain to you what we think uh, about Dynamics AX. I mean, we really think that we're bringing the right balance here uh, at the operational level and being able to integrate with your administrative ERP. So it's all about standardization. How can I bring consistency and best practices across the board, across my entire organization? It's all about the uh, level of innovation that Microsoft is bringing you. Uh, we are not only innovating in our ERP system, but uh, we are basically leveraging all our Microsoft stack. And then when I'm talking about the stack, I'm talking about you know, SQL Server, SharePoint, uh, Office, uh, Windows, uh, all those tools that are uh, you know, the success of Microsoft are basically leveraged uh, within Microsoft Dynamics AX. Uh, and then, what we can provide to you is all the consolidation of your resources. So you've got a lot of people already knowing this Microsoft technology. And because Microsoft Dynamics AX is leveraging this, uh, it's easier for you to be able to uh, take, you know, have the same people managing your ERP. And uh, uh, obviously, you know, people knowing about Visual Studio or phone application um, uh, and, and, and everything of this can be, uh, can be integrated with our ERP. Uh, obviously, we are not going to forget uh, about the primary goal, which is uh, you know, business agility at local level. Uh, with Microsoft Dynamics AX, what we can do is to fit a broad range of requirements. And uh, when we're talking about requirement, uh, it's both coming from uh, regional, I mean, uh, being able to answer the local localization need and local regulation. Uh, but just also uh, you know, the size of your entity. I mean, whether it's a small one, whether it's a big one, uh, whether you want to deploy uh, uh, with an IT governance model, which is more like a single instance for managing this particular activity, or federated environment, or uh, you know, local instance that needs to be deployed uh, because you don't necessarily have the, the right IT infrastructure in that place. So basically, you can really fit a, a broad, run, broad range sorry, of requirements uh, with Microsoft Dynamics AX. And then it's all about the time to, the time to value with Microsoft Dynamics AX. I mean, the high values that you can, we can bring uh, due to the user adoption. Uh, the way AX is working is uh, very familiar as, a, as in Microsoft Office. 
So for a user to use it, I mean, that's, uh, that's a, a lot easier. He feels confident, he feels that he already knows the application, and the success of an ERP implementation is all about the change management, and we think uh, we are bringing a whole lot in that space. Uh, it's all about leveraging the uh, investment. Uh, as I mentioned earlier, we are leveraging the Microsoft stack, and you already have competencies in it. So the learning curve is way faster, and uh, you can reuse technology you already know. Um, and then it's all about faster time to implement. Uh, we've been doing a lot of work with Microsoft Dynamics AX in order to make this implementation faster. Uh, we are releasing tools like uh, Rapid Start, which is uh, a breakthrough innovation uh, within the ERP industry that is going to help you implement and deploy the application. At the end, uh, the deployment, the maintainability of the application is going to help you drive your cost down and uh, obviously uh, uh, increase your total cost of ownership and uh, having a, a great solution in that space. Uh, with this, uh, what I'm inviting you to do is uh, uh, you know, look at us on, on Microsoft.com, uh, look at Microsoft Dynamics AX, or contact our, your partners and check out about our two-tier strategy. Uh, thank you for listening and uh, looking forward to meeting with you.